five of the biannual bibliothon. Day five's challenge is titled The Missing Scene, where basically we are given the chance to recreate our favorite book scene that was cut out of its movie or TV adaptation. I am going to be giving away a copy of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, so if you would like to enter that giveaway, you must be 18 years or older or have your parents' permission so we can send you your prize. You must be subscribed to all of the host's individual channels, and they are always linked in the descriptions of our videos. And finally, you must link your video entry for today's challenge in the comment section of this video before 12 a.m. PST tonight. If you are familiar in any way with my channel, I'm sure you guys can assume what book series I decided to do for this challenge. And I was really excited to recreate this specific scene because it was cut out of literally the City of Bones movie as well as the Shadowhunters TV show. So I am very excited to give you guys this video, so I really hope you enjoy it. I can't believe you buy that story, Hodge. I'm not quite sure what you mean, Alec. Are you suggesting this girl didn't kill the demon after all? Of course she didn't. Look at her. She's mundane, and a little kid at that, there's no way she took on Ravener. When I found her, she was lying in a pool of blood with a demon practically on top of her. I saw it vanish. If she didn't kill it, who did? Raveners are stupid. Maybe it got itself with its stinger. It's happened before. Now you're suggesting it committed suicide. <sighs> it isn't right for her to be here. Mundanes aren't allowed in the Institute, and there's a good reason for that. That isn't entirely true. The law does allow us to offer sanctuary to Mundanes in certain circumstances. The Ravener attacked Clary's mother. She could have well been next. That being said, it did make sense to keep Clary's presence here a secret while we weren't sure she would recover. But now she has, and she's the first mundane to pass through the walls of an institute for over a hundred years. You know the law, Chase. The Cleave must be informed. Absolutely. I could get a message to my father. She's not a mundane. But I am. <sighs> no, you aren't. That night, there were do send demons dressed as police officers. Claire was too weak, and we had to get past them, so I put a mandolin ring on her arm. I thought, are you out of your mind? You know what the law says about placing marks on mundane's Jace. You, you of all people should know better. But it worked. Clary, show them your arm. That's not the point. You could have turned her into a forsaken. I can't believe you, Jace. Only Shadowhunters can receive Covenant Marks. They kill Mundanes. She's not a Mundane. Haven't you been listening? It explains why she can see us. She must have clave blood. No. No, I don't. I can't. Maybe her mother was a Shadowhunter. My mother was not a Shadowhunter. Your father? He died before I was born. If her father was a Shadowhunter and her mother a Mundane, well, we all know what the clave would say about that, but... Is... Is there any way that I could go home? No. No, I don't think that would be wise. Please, I have to see if... I have to see what's left. If Jace agrees to it, you both may go. If you really want to know if my mom or dad was a shadow hunter, we should take a look at my mom's old things. What's left of them, at least. Down the rabbit hole. Good idea. If we leave now, we should have three or four more hours of daylight. Do you want me to come with you? No, it's alright. Clary and I can handle this on our own. Jace? Yep? How did you know that I had Shadowhunter blood? Was there some way that you could tell? I guessed. Seemed like the most likely explanation. You guessed? You must have been pretty positive considering you could have killed me. I was 90% sure. Huh. I see. What the hell was that for? The other 10%? This is one of the best scenes in City of Bones, and I just cannot believe it was cut out of both adaptations. Fun fact, the main reason that I was so motivated to make up for the producer's mistakes is because it was legitimately cut out of Shadowhunters. They filmed it perfectly. Seeing them embody those characters, I feel like it's giving me a whole new perspective on what those characters are like. What was that for? Pure disappointment. Alrighty, so that is it for today's video challenge. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at BBBibliothon for ratings prints that we're hosting all day long. Make sure to review those giveaway guidelines so you can enter my giveaway for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And check out all of my lovely co-host entries for today by looking in the description of this video. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for your love, support, and participation. And we will see you tomorrow for a new challenge. Bye!